Welcome to Fridays with Father. <laughs> Welcome to my office. This Fridays with Father in digital form is brought to you because right now I am at the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass in the church. So I wanted to make sure that we had a continuation of our Fridays with Father, especially because we, we missed last week. So this upcoming Sunday, we are celebrating the second Sunday of Lent. And we will hear in our gospel about the transfiguration of Jesus, that he brought his three BFFs up this mountaintop to experience a intimate look in who he is. For he talks directly to his father. And his father says, Behold my son, listen to him. And what happens in this transfiguration is somewhat of a transformation. Now, you've probably been in situations where you have gotten your clothes filthy dirty. Hopefully you've jumped in some puddles, you've played outside in the dirt, and you come in and mom is looking at you a little bit like, why? why? Well, it's because we're kids. That's like what we do, right? Well, the amazing thing is like no matter how dirty your clothes are, most of the time, grass stains, mud, you know, spilling stuff on it, ketchup, taking it into the washer uh, generally will make it clean again. That the clothes remain the same, but the appearance actually changes. We see this too when we get like a fresh coat of paint, whether it be like a new room, the family room, kitchen or whatever. When you put a new coat of paint on something, it's still the same walls, but they appear suddenly different. Same is true in our gospel, that Jesus himself is who he is, but he appears a little bit more glorious because a little bit more of his nature is revealed as he's in conversation with his father. Now, the words that the father says about the son aren't just meant for those three BFFs of Jesus, but they're meant for all of us. And those words are to listen to him. This Lent, we have the opportunity to grow in our relationship with Christ by entering into prayer, by listening to him. So my invitation for us this week as we are attempting to, through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, open ourselves to both Jesus, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit to live more in union with them by setting aside just a small amount of time simply to listen to God. Maybe that's at home um, right before we go to bed. Maybe that's at school and we just take a little bit of silence. But just to enter into that opportunity to open our hearts, to listen to God, and we ourselves to be transformed by God's love for us. This has been Fridays with Father. God bless you and we'll see you next week.